Hey you guys, today I'm going to do um, Empire Season 2, Episode 7. Um, I'm not going step by step. Don't ask, don't think about it. I'm not, it wasn't that good to do all that. But um, if I miss some things that happened on this episode, leave it down in the comment section and we can talk about it there. But um, yeah. So it starts off with Cookie still getting banged out by the uh, little Latino guy. And, I mean, they getting banged out all day. She let this dude talk her out of going to work and bring him to work back to the house. Okay. Whatever. Um, I would be pumped up about this situation if he was legit. But by us not knowing he fucked up, I just, I'm over him. I'm ready for him or to find out and kill him off. Like, for real. Um, even Portia was looking like, ew. Okay, whatever. So he's getting phone calls and he's not answering. She like, do you got a wife I don't know about? He like, no. But come find out. He go meet the kidnappers outside and he tell them to fall back. He got this. He's um pumping her up in the house about this concert or whatever. He's putting on this summer jam thing and I don't know if he real a real promoter. I don't know. Because his name wasn't on the damn thing. But on the flyer. But he said. He like tell her about this little concert. And she was like I'm going to put on my own concert. You know it's going to be called the cookie cookout. And so that's what she going to do. So he tells the kidnapper dudes. Like let us. Let me handle this. I'm going to make her pay for the venue. And all this kind of stuff. And then I'm going to also make her pay for the security, and they just trying to get money from Cookie, extort money from her. Okay, whatever. Um, Like I said, I'm just ready for her to find out about asshole, period, point blank. Let's move on with Hakeem. And, well, she was trying to uh have a meeting with the uh, kidnappers, and Hakeem walked in there like, uh-uh. And I hope somebody hurry up and find out, because Hakeem don't even trust the Latino dude. And he told his mama, like, I ain't stupid. I know you banging out pretty boy. Like, I'm not stupid. So, um, yeah, that's that with them. So she did do, like, this little conference, like, with bloggers and stuff like that to let them know that she's going to put on this event. And while they letting a the little... Menage Trois, whatever the hell their name is, Hakeem Lil Group perform. They noticed that one of the little backup girls keep pushing Lauren out the way, and Lauren's not really doing anything. So Cookie like move Lauren to the back and put old girl to the front. But Hakeem feels some kind of way about her, and Cookie calls him out on being sprung on old girl because even though he's not getting her from her she can get Hakeem to do a lot of stuff and I don't know if it's because he like her or he just see potential in the girl but um yeah he gets Tiana to teach her kind of how to walk and confidence and stuff like that and then he takes her like in the middle of like lunch lunch hour like look like downtown or wherever the where they at and he had her sing for the crowd and she was at, um, I, I will survive, but she sung it in the Spanish version. I thought it was dope. I really thought it was dope how she sung it in Spanish. Um, and then she kissed him at the end. So I guess they gonna be the new little hot little couple, but whatever. Um, through this episode, Lucius is trying to go in business with some dude. And Mimi is there, and they end up having this meeting. And, um, Andre was feeling some kind of way about Mimi because Mimi kept, like, over-talking him. Mimi was, like, cutting him out, like, I got this, I did this, I did that. And Andre is, you know, he's supposed to be the head dude for Gutter Records and stuff like that. But it seemed like, we all know, he's there just for show. He doesn't run anything, so whatever his daddy say, go. Um... And she t he tells him, like, we got this. You go see the girl at the little DA little office or whatever that shit was. Because he needs him to do something for Frida. He goes to her office or whatever. And homegirl, it's the girl from last season that he was banging out in the office. And um, 
he tried to get her to erase some shit about Frida gang something. And homegirl was trying to give him some. And he pushed her off because he even went to his pastor and basically letting his pastor know what Lucius is basically doing to him. And how it's so much temptation that Lucius is, and Lucius is testing him and stuff like that. So he had a real good talk with his pastor. And so he was able to fight old girl off. And she was kind of mad, but I was like, okay, you, you fought her off, but you still had to hurry up and get that note off. So you went home and took it out on your wife. Okay, whatever. Um, I don't too much like, I don't care for Andre, so it's like whatever. Um, but I get it, like, but my thing is, dude, like, what you want and what you, what you gonna get from your daddy is two different things. Like I said, you should have stuck with your mama. Because your mama didn't judge you about being in church and all that kind of stuff. Like, and you, you could have did your thing. That was a, that was a business he could have did from the ground up and made it very, very successful and had say-so in the company. But no, you'd rather run behind your goddamn daddy. So Lucius, on the other hand, he is trying to get this bang, 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 boom, boom, boom shit song off the ground. And he's trying to get somebody to listen and... Him and Frida was in the studio at the beginning, and she sounded horrible at first, but then when he told her, like, to put her all into it, it sounded a little bit better. Not a lot, but a little bit better. But her song, her part do make the song, because his part is fucking horrible. So, I don't know who the man was, but I know the man playing scary shit. I do remember that. Um, But he's, like, some big record, big dude, and he be having shit up in his living room, and... So Lucius went to go talk to him about, you know, performing in the living room and stuff like that. And he let him listen to the song. And the man wasn't caring nothing about when Lucius was playing his part. He only paid attention when he played Frida part. Um, like I would have. I'm just saying. So he played Frida's part and um the man was like, who is that? Yada, yada. I want to know more about her. Yada, yada, yada. And so Lucius was thinking, okay, cool. In the meantime, they trying to get Jamal's song um, off the ground too. Jamal can't really get his shit off the ground and finish his song, but Lucius wants him to finish his song. But Jamal ended up texting his mama because he he know that's the only way his music gonna sound like something because ever since he's been at Empire, his music sounded whack. I don't know if he need to get back with his brother and let his brother pump his songs up. I don't know, but his songs sound whack. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if it's even when he put his all to, into it. His songs sound whack. Um, but when, when Cookie kept on helping him because he kept texting her, sending her like little samples and she kept on having him tweak here and there. And it made it a little bit better. It put a little bit more soul to the song, but it was still wet. <laughs> but he ended up getting the invite to sing it in a man's living room. And Lucius was pissed off. Lucius know he felt some kind of way because he wanted him and Frida to do that, but no, it was um his son that got the deal. And I was laughing. I was like, that's what the fuck you get because you're trying to do some underhanded shit to your son when you could have just let him work with his fucking mama. And then you probably could have still had fucking Hakeem, but whatever. Um. So like I said, Jamal ended up singing in the man's living room. Okay, whatever. Um. What else happened? They end up going to some man that Lucius want to do business with or whatever at the boxing ring. And the man was telling him to spar with him and talk business. Lucius was like, no, I really don't want to spar with you, young man. But he ended up doing it anyway because he know he need this partnership with this man. So they're in there, the man fucking Lucius up. And I'm sitting there like, Lucius, you can't fight. Even if you was trying not to fight, you can't fight. Like. Ew, I was hating the way he was swinging. Like, who you swinging at? Why is you swinging down? Like, what are you trying to do? Touch his nuts? I don't know. But he kept on swinging and he, he kept going down. I was like, he up here. What are you doing? But okay. But then when the man told him his lyrics was whacked, then he got a good hit and knocked the man out. I was like, that was bullshit. So... They had to go see the man in the hospital. Him and Mimi had to go see the man in the hospital. And, you know, kind of apologize for his actions or whatever. 
and the man was on some morphine drip and they steady pumping up his damn morphine, getting the man real high and end up getting the man to call his lawyer to draw contracts to work with Lucius, but he was high as fuck. They was at the club chilling. Lucius at the club chilling. Mimi comes in there with all kind of stripper bitches and shit and um, hookers and all that kind of stuff. Then they end up taking one girl back to Lucia's house, about to do a threesome with this girl. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I don't want to see this. I, I just really don't. I don't mind watching stuff like that. But that that scene, I just didn't want to see. I it, it, First of all, Mimi, ain't, it's nothing sexy about Mimi whatsoever. So I really didn't want to see I really thought she was a full lesbian, so for her to be kissing up on Lucius, I was really disturbed. I don't know. But Lucius, for the whole episode, he's been having these flashbacks of his mama and him hiding bullets. And then come to find out his mom had been trying to commit suicide. Um, That's why he was hiding the bullets from her. But he still had the gun and stuff like that in his bathroom. But... I think it was the girl had a tattoo of a gun, so it kind of threw him out of one that had a threesome with them, and he went and got the gun, and he went back to the studio with Frida, and they end up doing, redoing the song, because he was like, oh, the song is missing something, and he was playing, like, the gun in the background for sound effects or whatever, and the song did sound a lot better. I can say that. By the end of the episode, that sound sounded a lot better. Even his part, and I can't stand to hear Lucius rap, but even his part was a lot better. I still wouldn't buy the song. I wouldn't download it. I, mm -mm. Only probably song that music I would download is the music from Hakeem Minho and his group because ain't nothing out of Empire coming out hot. I really don't think so. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else happening, but I don't remember anything else happening on Empire that was worth seeing or saying ooh, ah, or nothing. Um, we will get to see, I guess, coming up about the concert or cookie cookout or whatever, but I don't remember nothing happening. If I if I miss something, just leave it in the comment section, um, and we can talk about it there. Like I said, it really wasn't too much of a good episode. Um, it just gave me something to talk about, and I know that I did not want to have to make y'all wait until next week for an Empire review. It, it wouldn't be fair. So yeah, that's my review for Empire season two, episode seven. Um, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto view T H A not T H E. I'm your girl Miss Nika. And if you want the it's all about support shirt, hit me up and I can get on my dude to make them. And um they're fifteen dollars a shirt and it said it's all about support in the front and then they have the ghetto view in the back. It comes in different colors, so you ain't gotta worry about you have to have on a red shirt or whatever. So, um, yeah, let me know, and then we can make some arrangements of how you can get, pay him, and, um, get the shirts out and stuff like that. So, yeah, just support me, on I'll support you back. Um, make sure you come out, coming to the Blackout next year, May 19th through the 22nd. I will keep on talking about the Blackout here in Vegas. Um, it's a big meet and greet for y'all that don't know what the blackout is. It's a big old party with all your favorite YouTubers. So if you got a YouTuber that you want to be at the blackout, make sure you hit them up and say, are you coming to the blackout or going to the blackout in Vegas next year? Because I want to see everybody. Um, yeah. And don't forget to say it's not stop November. So make sure you supporting all the fellow YouTubers that's doing non-stop November videos. I think that's all the announcements I had. Yeah, that's it. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.